Welcome back to my kitchen. I hope everybody's having a good Friday today. All right. As you can see, it's going to be another lovely day out here in California. So uh, be prepared to put uh, sunblock if you <laughs> if you need it. All right. As for today, we're going to be using the uh, pressure cooker. But this time, we're not going to be cooking no dinner, no meat, no stew, no uh, you know, no chicken, no none of that. It's just going to be straight up how to cook pinto beans using this bad boy pressure cooker all right so stay tuned all right so what i have been doing is uh letting these uh beans sit in water soak in water actually um for about a good 20 25 30 minutes you don't really have to do this step i just do it okay you get it put it in a bowl put it in water Get your hands in there, make sure uh, there's no rocks, all the debris off of it. Because remember, these come in packages, been in, uh, you know, processed in warehouses, whatever. And uh, yeah, just make sure that it's clean. As you can see, the water, there's no cloudiness. All right, no rocks. Took them. If there is some, take them out and uh, let it soak for about 25, 30 minutes. And, uh, what I have here is two cups of uh, pinto beans, okay? So two cups of pinto beans, we're going to put it in the pressure cooker, and uh, it'll be, uh, for two cups of pinto beans, will be eight cups of water. That's how you want to cook it, okay? All right, be back. All right, so let's rinse out these pinto beans. It's okay with this ball, don't worry about it, don't panic. Alright, just rinsing it out. They already been soaking, pre-soaking. Should be good right there. Okay. Let's take it to the pressure cooker. All right, to that we're gonna add eight cups of water, okay? Now you don't wanna put salt, you don't wanna put no seasoning yet. Remember, this is just to uh, break down the bean, make it soft. It's uh, normally when you cook any bean and you're not using a pressure cooker, remember, it's gonna be like a four to five hour process. That's two cups of water right there, okay? So, by using the pressure cooker, you're about, you're saving about four hours of cooking time. You're only going to be doing one hour, okay? So, just remember that. All right, we got four. Six. And yes, I got a little audience. My poor baby girl. She's doing a lot better though, guys. And we have eight cups of water. Okay. All right. You see, it's all in there. Okay. Now we just got to let it boil. Um, the reason you don't want to add uh, salt to this, because it'll make the, uh, the bean firm and you won't get it soft and tender the way you want it, all right? So, uh, yeah, don't add salt. We're just going to drizzle a little bit of oil in there because there is a foam that rises, okay? You don't want that on your uh, pressure cooker. So, yeah, remember that. Two cups pinto bean to eight cup water okay put the uh, pressure cooker on high let it boil and uh yeah we're only gonna be doing it for one hour okay when normally on a regular pot you know regular 
a Dutch pot would be four to five hours of cooking time. So you're saving a lot of hours and you're saving a lot on your gas or electric bill. All right. So bear with me. Like always, you want to check uh, the lid. Make sure that the rubber is on there correctly. See how it's all not coming out, not loose. This uh, tab right here is working properly, the black one. And also the little securing thing right there. There we go. Okay. So that's all working, all right? Very important. You don't want that thing blasting through your kitchen, all right, while you're cooking. But she's ready to go. We're just waiting on the beans to start boiling up. Like I said, don't add no uh, no seasoning, no nothing yet. Once this is done, within an hour, that's when uh, we'll throw in some chopped up onions, garlic, uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of heat, maybe some hot sauce or some spices into it, uh, oregano. Uh, what else? No lard. I don't use lard on my uh, beans. That's a big no-no for me, man. I don't. I don't need that. Okay. Let's keep it organic. Maybe even vegan, all right? Pretty much it is vegan. So for all you that uh, are vegan or, or uh, health conscious, yeah, this is good right here, all right? All right, let's throw on the lid to the pressure cooker of beans. Okay, so you can see they're starting to float up, starting to bubble. All right, let's get this started. Always measure out the two little arrows right there, okay? Make sure that it's all on properly, top, okay? Then, real easy, that's all you want to do, okay? Right there, she's sealed, and don't forget the, the weight on top, all right? So let's just wait for it to uh, start rocking. This thing's going to start partying right now in a second, okay? So once that's done, we have the, the flame on high. Once it starts rocking and partying, we're going to lower it to a good medium, okay? And let it simmer for about an hour. And in an hour, you're going to have tender, soft beans that you can store in your refrigerator for the next day and the following. And uh, it's a good health to you guys, all right? I forgot to mention that before I put the lid on there, I had drizzled at least maybe about a tablespoon of... Uh, olive oil whichever oil you got at home just drizzle it on there okay all right then close up the lid and let's get this party cracking all right so as you can hear this bad boy's rocking and rolling already all right that's what you want to see so give it like about five minutes of uh of really boiling in there once i close the lid up started rocking right there all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to lower the temp to a four, which mine would be medium, okay? And uh, this is because I know my stove. I know how my stove is, and I know how this pressure cooker works. Some people have told me that they've cooked beans within, like, 30 minutes. And I'm like, wow, that's, that has to be a different pressure cooker. or And it is. Some people have the electric one. I have the OG original stove top. These are very inexpensive and they'll last you a long time, guys. I would invest in it maybe 20, 30 bucks and you'll have great meals like under a... I, I cook chicken within 20 minutes. Beans, of course, this one is one hour. But hey, it beats uh, cooking it for four to five hours, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to be doing that. I used to cook it like that. Uh, instead of buying can all that preservative that's going to my body, which I don't want, okay? So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in one hour. See? Put it on medium, and that's what you're going to do. All right, so what I'll do is I'll come back, and um, on part two, I'll show you guys how to, uh, once it's done pressure cooking, you just throw a lid on top, let it simmer again, but put it on you know, medium low, and uh, we'll add seasonings, chili, whatever you like to throw in your beans to make it to your taste, 
that's what we're going to do. So I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? And make sure you guys have a good Friday, man. Good weekend. Stay blessed high. And peace.